All right, on to case four of 10. 2019 Bowman Draft 10, case number two. Thunderstorms? Will the Thundercats maybe show up? Thunder, mm. thunder, 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 cats. Do you want to sell them? No, that would be the worst possible thing I could do right now. I'm already you know, getting the shakes from being hungry. Does the Thundercats theme have a like a like a you know like a cougar growl when it does that? You know, you're too you're too yeah, young I don't for know. Thundercats. <laughs> Look at me trying to talk to little baby boy Omni over here about a 1980s cartoon. Yeah, I missed the Thundercats. Yeah, roar. That was awesome. I loved it. Thunder, 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 cats. I remember I had like a squealing guitar thing. I think. Yeah, snarf. There had to be a growl in there somewhere. Oh, you're in Hawaii now, Chew? Wow. Man, what are you doing, man? What are you doing on vacation trying to enjoy a baseball card stream? It's, it's, vacations aren't f for you to be able to do fun things you want to do. Yeah, these are only a reprieve if you're at work or something. Yeah. When I went to Hawaii, I didn't get to do anything I wanted to do. I had to wrangle kids and... Well, I got... To, uh, we went snorkeling, so that was good. Michael Bush on the board. A little German like Thundercast, obviously. Yeah, Bowman Draft 10 caser. That's fun to watch anywhere. You could be on any trip doing anything and it would still be the top thing you'd want to be doing. You're scared of the ocean? Yeah, it is kind of scary. I had a couple moments snorkeling where I was like, oh, I could die. Like, just at that, I didn't really think that, but like, you know, just that little bit of a thought, like, this wave, like, you have that feeling of like, this wave is more powerful than me. If it felt, if something... Some condition happened, I could just be gone. Sucked into a balloon. Yeah. Oh, we got a gold wave auto. Logan Wyatt. Seems like we've had a lot of color of Logan Wyatt. We got bitten by an eel. Never let go, and Chu has an eel, just a skeleton of an eel that they can't get off his leg. He has like a separate a separate pants leg thing for the eel skeleton and a shoe at the end. Of the eel. It's really weird. Oh, a bitch in the hand, never mind that story. It's got a glove at the end. <laughs> If I ever get bit by a snake or any I'm gonna ask the doctors, like, please don't remove it. I would like it to decompose naturally while on my leg. And I'm gonna dress it up with a different pant leg thing and a shoe. Jamari Baylor. And then I'm gonna ask him, have you ever had that request before? I would I would assume it's common. Yeah. Do you have any like eel? Yeah, it's about fifty feet. <laughs> Do you have any eel or snake pant legs in the in the operating room? Just in case someone requests that time of the injury or do I have to order one on Amazon I should probably pre-order it it'd be really embarrassing to go out with, with the eel or snake without you know its yeah. own pant leg I think it's gross I get a lot of weird looks Exactly. You know what I think is scary? Lake Superior. Yeah? Just specifically that lake? Yeah. Lake Michigan, not so much. Because of the water monsters? Yeah. The beasts of the lake. Well, it's freezing cold year-round, and it's like thousands of feet deep. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's eerie. Wait, it's not eerie. It's superior. Yeah. <laughs> and, like... Which, which you know, way? you hear about all the 
There are a lot of ships at the bottom of Lake Superior. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I haven't heard about that. Well, the Edmund Fitzgerald. Is that where the Bermuda Triangle is? Jack K. Base Hotel. Yeah. You know, the famous Bermuda Triangle. It's right off the coast of Bermuda, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> the Edmund Fitzgerald is out there? Mm-hmm. But they can't really dive out there? Like, mm. Have they gotten stuff off of it? I think they sort of can, but... Well, Bermuda is just an old... Native American word that we've butchered for the Bermuda Triangle out there. They did go on to get the bell. That's another thing that's creepy is if you ever see any of those like big, something about those big like freighters, they're like 800 feet long. Yeah. You know, it's like, that just makes me feel weird. Yeah, it's weird with that kind of thing. Sometimes it's Somehow, like, I don't know if comforting is the word, but when you when you're noticing your tiny tiny human body yeah. in a gig, a vast like space, whether it's, it's so a ship, unnatural to see like a boat, that's... it's like kind of grounding sometimes, and other times it's like terrifying. Yeah. Kyle Stowers. Like one time I was fishing on the Mississippi River with my brother-in-law, mm -hmm. and we like went by these big barges and stuff in like a fishing boat, like a regular, not, not like a rowboat, but you know, like yeah. A, what a regular boat. I was like, ugh, just, I don't know. Yeah. Thomas Dillard. Well, like, when I when you go to Yosemite and you look at the giant things, it kind of, you feel like, oh, I'm, I don't really matter. Yeah, but, like, the natural things is different. Yeah, than, that's like, true. a man-made... Death machine. Yeah. So what ha Why did it crash out there? Why did it sink? Just, what do you run into out there? Storms. Oh, okay. Storms on the, the lake. The gales of November. My parents said the waves on Lake Michigan were like 20 feet. Uh, like, that's big. <laughs> well, like, uh, even if you're... So, well, how does but it... But there was also... What is it, it just, called? Like it just capsized. Ballast or whatever. They were, they were carrying ore, and they think the ore, like, shifted, too. Uh, like, in the... Just realized we haven't had any Under Armors this round yet. And, you know, the... The water's so cold, the, the dead don't come to the top. Oh, really? Superior, it said, never gives up its dead. Dang. When the gales of November come early. Greg Jones, class of 19, insert auto. Bring out your dead. Light Superior's like that. Hey, Droid, that's your guy, Greg Jones. Yeah, it's weird. I know that ship is older, but like when I would watch the, <clears throat> you know, the crab hunting show. What is mm -hmm. that? Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch. And they have the storms and stuff, and I'd watch, they show like a camera or whatever, and you're like, how is the boat not being, Yeah. how is it still going? I don't understand. Nolan Gorman Purple. They're going up waves like this and down, like th there's no way, but then they somehow are, they do it. Like what's the difference? The ship's better balanced. I think those are also smaller. That's like part, you know, like they're better still big, smaller. but I think so. Oh, to a point. But yeah, in Munising on Lake Superior, there's a shipwreck tour where they, you take a glass bottom boat and there's like, oh, there's like 10 shipwrecks wow. in here. Glass bottom boat, that sounds safe. Kyle, Isabel. Well, the, it's not the whole, the whole boat isn't glass. There's a... Just the bottom. Well, there's Just a... little viewing area. Yeah. A little window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gene, we're gonna... Yeah, I'm thinking Sunday I'll post those. As Omni was saying, there won't really be that much to ship on Tuesday, so he, he wants to create a couple dozen. Yeah, that's all right. Rates. We're just going to have to use the truck. Yeah, I'll have to drive it over there. Alec Manoa. Is that her first Alec Manoa? So many turtles. 
I got your Christmas card today, Gene. Did you see it? No, I didn't. It's very nice. I saw that we got it. Personal note inside. Thanks for that, Gene. That was nice. There's a place, too, in Upper Michigan called Kitchita Kippy, and it's this cold spring. Mm. But because it's a spring, the water's, like, crystal clear. Mm. So they they have this glass bottom boat, and you see these sturgeon that are like, wow. four, you know, like giant. Or maybe they're, yeah, I think they're sturgeon, big trout. I don't know, both probably. But you can also see like all the trees down like below forty feet of water. Peyton Burdick orange. Is that three orange autos? No, for the whole thing. Two for sure. I don't know. I'm not three sure. for some reason. He's got a Peyton spot. Chew. Duck boats. Looks like James Beard. I think that's three. I think there's the other. Oh man, I can't remember. Uh, we got the Drew uh, or Davis Wenzel. Davis Wenzel and the other. Oh, the Orioles guy. Yeah, yeah, not Ad. the not Adley one. <clears throat> the one thing I think I'm over now, I'm past, is like rides, like gigantic roller coaster stuff. I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I never did it. I'm not like scared of it. I just don't. I'm scared of it. The benefit reward thing, like the ratio is zero, is yeah, no benefit and tiny you bit might of throw risk. Up at the end. Yeah. We just weren't like a go to Six Flags type of family. Bryson Stott. I've never done like the deep sea fishing type. I'm not doing that either. Sea sickness and all that. No. Way. Yeah. I've never been a huge fan of being out on the water. <laughs> yeah. Watching sounds awesome. Yeah. Just punch my microphone, sorry. Apparently you can do that at like uh what's that park that's like just north of San Francisco on the ocean? Uh Point Reyes? Something like that. Point Reyes is amazing. Like apparently really? in the winter they like this time of year. The whales run close to the shore. You don't even have to like go in a boat. Yeah. That was the second place I took my now wife for like a day trip type of thing. We went to Yosemite and Point Reyes. Crab watching. <laughs> I think I just saw a crab. Oh no, never mind. It's a shoe. Riley Green Refractor Auto. This is not the photo variation. It's an actual. Didn't we get one of those? Mm -hmm. a little German. I've done that. I've gone down to Sa or not Sausal Sausalito. I think it was Pescadero, Sausalito. No, Pescadero is north. I know. Oh, I really like that girl at a droid. Decided to pull out all the top trips early. I had a good feeling about it. The ones before that is, you know, Wendy's, maybe a movie. A 
Black autograph. It's good color in this stuff. Tyler Bomb. Yeah, it worked out. Like a salad bar, right? <clears throat> but like even better. Yeah, like a super salad bar. The whole time they were calling it a soup or salad bar, and yeah. UCC, I thought it was a super. <laughs> super bar. Mexican food? Wow. I never saw that. No. We didn't have a Wendy's in my town, though. Growing up. Geez, any other things that were way better in the past that are gone now that you could tell us about? Tell us more about the fast food restaurants. <laughs> the renaissance age of fast food. Grandpa, tell me again about the Wendy's Super Bar. Well, okay, kids. One time I had a taco filled with raviolis. It's the only time since. <laughs> Never had one since. I accept your ravioli. So I need to put that S on there. Is ravioli the plural of ravioli? Probably. I ate 10 ravioli? I don't know. I don't know. I think it is. I'm going to say yes. Ethan Small. Oh, it is raviolis. Raviolo? Oh, it's like a medium media thing. Where... Raviolo. I don't know that. I was half right. Alec Baum. uses those words it's always the I that can't be right <laughs> <laughs> he's joking with us spaghetto uh oh spaghetto triolo so if we had two that'd be trioli triolis Simple. We have two. Okay, now. Trioli. Purple Antoine Kelly. That pack was super accommodating. It's like I had a lesson plan set. I've heard this rumor, uh, Quinn Priester, that it used to be, in the old days of McDonald's, they used to ruin an entire ecosystem with one Big Mac meal of styrofoam. Several acres of the rainforest were destroyed permanently just by ordering one Big Mac meal. Please tell me that's true. Matt Cantorino. Styrofoam is not only the le like the worst for the environment, but it's also the worst for food. Everything like gets it. soggy immediately. Yeah, it's all wet in there. It doesn't let anything let any. It doesn't breathe.
Do you guys remember that? I don't remember that. I remember my dad ordering stuff at McDonald's and it was like just... They had this one that was a styrofoam. I remember the breakfast came on. It was like two halves that would come and then you would like take them out and put, it together, put the sandwich together. Oh, oh the Mc... Mc... Oh, that's the McDLT. DLT? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, how did that one work? There was a cold side and a hot side. They put like the lettuce and tomato on one side. And oh, there's a Shea Langelier speckle to 71. It was like mid 80s. Mid to late 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's got Shea? Spaghetti. You just took the vowel off the end, so we don't even know. Late 80s. to use a different oil for the fries and it tasted way different back that's been a long time now that wasn't oil though it was beef fat yeah or whatever it Callow. was oh it was yeah no wonder it was so freaking good God. yeah i think the vegetarians uh even back then yeah uh, you know put a stop to that beef tallow it was way better tasting Logan Davidson base auto. <laughs> Fry your apple pies and beef fat. Yeah. All right, it was a mistake to get the free lunch. I'm starving. They put you in a position where you can't complain because someone's buying you lunch and bringing it to you. But inside, you're dying. You probably wouldn't have been eating until after this case anyway. Yeah, no, that's true. Oh, did I tell you I hooked up my new soundbar? Oh, no, how's it? It has a subwoofer, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, your downstairs neighbor's going to love that. Well, that's, I was watching yesterday and, <laughs> like, last night. I was watching a movie and they started playing a song and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to have to, like, turn that off. <laughs> yeah. Reese Hins. But he, they, like, have a subwoofer going at, like, all hours. Oh. So, I guess it's turn about, turn about. Start play. But, like, I don't need to, like... I don't need to have, like, the bass kicking in on, no. like, on needle drops and movies and stuff. You know? I have a subwoofer, and I, do, I don't even... I unplugged it. It's stupid. I don't like it. It's, it's cool for, like... I was watching Star Wars, you know, to test it. What? I was oh, watching Star Wars, you know, to, like... And, like, when the ships crash into each other and stuff, there's, yeah. like, the bass sounds that are cool. Spencer Steer. Uh... Omni's doing breaks tomorrow. We're going to do some maybe Triple E, the Obsidian football, Rookies of Stars football. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what else can we do? Corey Lee Green. Oh, yeah, McDonald's did sell brats in Wisconsin back in the day. Oh, really? We'll have some regular breaks tomorrow. Yeah. I wouldn't even be opposed to doing, you know, this. more draft. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know if it's what you want to do or what they, what the people want. But. Yeah, I don't know. Stowers. <laughs> Belief. Good one. Kendall Williams blue. Is that a bad corner? No. Just a little piece of foil on the corner. Kendall Williams. Which wax? You were here earlier. The people. I just want to do another case of prison basketball. It's amazing.
If he doesn't milk that name, I'd be utterly disappointed. You ever tried to milk a steer, Sam? <laughs> what? You ever tried to milk a steer? Oh, yeah. Well, it's still in the cow family. Yeah. All I know is I wouldn't have beef with him. Yeah. Garcia base auto. Chew. <laughs> Very elusive. Yeah, well, if we told all this to Spencer Steer, he'd be like, Yeah, guys, this isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> Heard all this before. That's close, Jules. Hand like a ranch hand. Pretty good. Yeah, that Maybe, takes a little digging. Yeah. But it's a... We get I got it. I don't know if everybody did. It's a good try. Grant Cambrell. It's not right on its face. That's kind of that's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, a little cerebral. That's your beef with steer. Uh yeah, I know, Jules. Spencer Steer from anyway does it say on the card I bet it's some cow yeah if he's not from nowhere. Texas <laughs> it does say is, DJ Sycamore base auto oh it's from Long Beach oh okay that's not a cow town uh, oh, Spencer Brickhouse orange I love Long Beach. Jules can't believe she got roped into this. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Jules, how do you get wrangled into watching breaks on a Friday when you're supposed to be at work? This is really chapping Jules' is high. <laughs> Trey Jameson. Yeah, Queen Mary. We're know. just trying to stay on brand. <laughs> I'm going to try to steer this conversation in a different direction, Joel. Uh, redemption. 
Blake Walsh to blue paper. Blue wave. Hunter Bishop. Yeah, Jules is fired. She's got nothing but time now. <laughs> cow jokes. Case four, cow jokes. Jameson base on Jubes. <laughs> Let's see what Jules wrote. I'm still laughing it's about. It's gonna be perfect timing. Oh, he's on his way. Laughing about your climbing maces comment the other night. I've been watching a lot of westerns, you know. JJ Blade, he's on the board. Where's JJ Blade? Sports Bros. What's up, Sports Bros? That was a big spot that hadn't had anything yet. I don't think. Jupes, I laughed really hard at that turtles meme thing. <laughs> I show you that. So stupid. My perfect type of stupid joke. This one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hard back? Yeah, the little head. Hmm. Gold, Nick Lodolo. And I always laugh at what your salt life. What was the one? God. Oh, it was the... It was like one week after the cyber truck comes out or whatever. It was like a... I don't know. I don't even... I don't live anywhere near any of that, but somehow I just... I've decided that I understand Joops is uh, making fun of Floridian stuff he does. Yeah, yeah, that's something we can talk about. Sam likes the Cybertruck. I do. Yep. I've already pre-ordered several. Cameron Cannon. Cybertruck rules. It I speaks th to me. I think it looks dumb. Oh, the Knicks fired their coach. Fizz? Yeah. That'll solve it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That droid gets it. Yeah, I'm pissed. I just bought a new truck a couple, whatever, a year ago, and then got the other one. So I just held out for the Cybertruck. Ryan Jensen, base auto. I must have laughed for 10 straight minutes when that guy threw that thing through the window. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and did another one. It's not really a truck, though. No. I don't know why it's called a truck. Yeah, they even called, they went so far as to call it a pickup truck. No, yeah, it's not a pickup truck. It's got, it looks more like a big Prius than a pickup truck. Yeah. I'm not buying one, but whenever I see one drive by, I'm going to be like, dang, that's cool. Way to go, man. And then when he's pulling into the Tesla charging station for four hours and yeah. Thanksgiving. Did you see that? No, the... Travel, uh, yeah, I guess there uh, was that in the Bay Area or where was that? There's something about like a million Teslas were trying to pull in and supercharge at the place, and they're just waiting for like hours and hours. There's so much traffic that would suck. <laughs> yeah, Master Chief, where are you putting all the refractors right now? 
Just in the okay. with the chrome. Palante gold paper. I don't know. I might. Hold on. The uh, to two ninety nine Rutschman and Henderson. I might. Uh... Yeah. Pretty much it, Joy. I might, because my wife's car is like, God, must be 10 years old now. No, it's not that old. It's got 100 and, you know, 120,000 miles on it. If her car craps out, it might make sense for me to have get her a Tesla for her next car. If, I don't know the range, though. If my apartment had charging things, I'd get yeah. a fully electric car for sure. Yeah. I don't go anywhere. Because she would save a ton of money on gas. Yeah. Logan Wyatt Purple. What's the range now on those things? Like 300 miles or oh, something. Oh, okay. Yeah, plenty. If she's coming home every night and charging it in your garage. Yeah, yeah, never mind. My daughter was born 10 years ago. I thought we got it when my daughter was born, but I think that was my Santa Fe I bought that year. That thing's long gone. Now, it must have been 2014, so I think it's like six years old, but she she commutes like, you know, from here to long downtown way, yeah. Sacramento every day, every weekday, a lot of miles. I my daughter for a Tesla. Is that an offer somewhere? Wait, hey, you got a Tesla? Orange Burdick. Logan Wyatt. A lot of Logan Wyatt color in our cases. Shay Langoliers to 71. Tyler Baum black. Kendall Williams blue. Hunter Bishop blue wave redemption. Kelly, Logan Wyatt again purple. Blade refractor. Priester, Riley Green refractor. Stowers refractor. And then the base. Yeah, that car, we don't use that. We try to not use that car when we take trips. Like I drive whatever car I had. Greg Jones. So that car, it's got like a hundred, yeah, I don't know, twenty or thirty thousand miles on it just from that. <clears throat> Burns up those miles quick. Here's the Lodolo Gold. First bone color, chrome. Like all the chrome was first that time. Oh, weird. A, a lot of it. Yeah, those are the only not first colors. Oh, man. He said he's here. He'll be up in a minute. Oh, he's here? Okay. I guess we're going to take a lunch break right, up, right after this. Food just about to get here. Perfect timing. 